Today we're taking a look at the new SpeedyB LiPo Disc Charger. This thing is very small, lightweight, and can even power your portable devices. So let's open this up and see how it works. Okay, so here it is, the SpeedyB Disc Charger, and it's in the traditional SpeedyB box here. On the side here, you have some of the specifications on this. Now the input ranges between three and six S batteries, so we'll be using a six S battery for today's demonstration. Now as far as output, this thing supports a PD 3.0 output, and we'll be testing it today with our USB-C cord today. Now the output performance of this disc charger varies based upon the cell count of your battery. If you're using a three cell battery, you're gonna have an output around 30 watts. If you're gonna use a four cell battery, then you're gonna have 40 watts and if you use a 6s battery you're good for around 60 watts so we'll see if that works today so let's open this up and see what it looks like and here you go you have your discharger right on top take that out and then below you have a balance cable or a balance extension and that's it pretty simple no manuals no QR codes nothing so let's take a look at this charger right here. Pretty simple interface, square, all black. You have two buttons on here. You have a power button, and then you have this, I guess, a gear or a menu button on here. At the bottom, you have your XT60 connector, good from three to six S, and it says input on here, so that's pretty cool. And on the side here, you have your balance port. We'll be using this extension here. In fact, let's just plug it in and see how it fits. All right, pretty nice. And we're gonna use this because most of our uh, battery extension or balance leads are very, very short. So this is a really cool touch that they included in here. Now on the top here, you have your USB-C port. This is actually the output for this discharger and you can plug this into your device, whether it be a tablet or your cell phone. Now on the back here, you have your hexagon shaped heat sink on here, pretty nice. There's no actual fan in here, but this thing is a pretty cool heat sink. Now in the front here, you have like an LCD screen and we'll see what it shows. It just shows you your voltage, your current, and then the voltage from each balance or each cell in your battery. Now at this point, you're probably asking, why do I need a discharger for my light bulb batteries? I can think of three reasons right off the top of my head. Now the first reason is if you wanna put your battery into the most stable stage. Say for example, you're done with the season of flying and you wanna put your battery into storage phase, or maybe you're gonna be traveling, you wanna put your battery into the most stable phase, then you might wanna put your battery into say 3.8 volts. Now the next reason why you might wanna have a discharge is in case your battery is damaged. Say for example, this thing is totally dead or say you have a damaged cell, instead of just throwing this thing into the trash can, which is very volatile, then you might wanna deplete the voltage from this battery completely. Now, other pilots have used methods like putting this into a bucket of salt water, but yeah, I don't know, I think I'll pass on that for now. There's safer ways of doing it. And a discharger is probably the best way of doing that. Now, the third reason why you might wanna have a discharger is because maybe you have an older charger, maybe without a discharge or storage function. In this case, you might wanna have a device that can put your battery into storage or into a discharge phase. So this will provide that and we'll see if it works today. So let's use our 6S battery here today. This will give us the most output, 60 watts of power. We're just gonna plug it in and see what it looks like. And there you go, you get a nice little design on startup. And it says 25.2 volts, which makes sense. This is a 6S battery. And I can just plug this balance lead in here as well and that will give me more information. So I can just hit this gear wheel right here, and that shows me the voltage per cell. Cell one, 4.18, 4.2, 4.18, 4.2, and so on. Six cells, and this battery here is fully charged. Now, this is pretty cool. To start your discharge, you can just hit this button right here. That's your voltage, and here's your output. It shows zero. Now, if you wanna set your minimum voltage on your battery, you can just press and hold this gear wheel. And now it says 3.8 and it's flashing. You can increase that if you want to, or you can decrease this if you want to as well, depending on what voltage you want to have this battery at. So in this case, we do wanna have it at 3.8 volts. So we're gonna select that and then long press. And there we go. Back to here, 25.2 volts. So let's see if this thing here works. We're just gonna plug this into the USB-C port. And I have my iPad right here. Apologize for the flashing. Let's see if I can change the flashing here for you guys. That's a kind of annoying. That looks good. All right, so this is all set up. Okay, so let's plug this into the actual iPad and see what it says. We're gonna go to the voltage here. It's showing 0.1, actually zero here. Let's just plug it in and see what it says for the voltage. It's actually charging. And this actually is supplying 15 volts to my iPad right here, which is pretty cool. 
and I can click over and see the actual amperage. So two amps, and it varies obviously based upon if I have the screen on or off, uh, which makes sense. There it is, it goes up because it's drawing more electricity or more current. There you go, 25.3 volts in the battery. And let's see what the cell says, 4.1, 4.1, 4.1. It's all consistent. Pretty nice. So I don't have any doubts that this is going to work or not, but this is going to discharge my battery to storage 3.8, then stop, which is a really good thing, guys. And if you want to deplete this completely, you can put this down to a low voltage, say one volt, and completely destroy this battery if you want to. So this thing is pretty cool, pretty small, compact. And let's just see how it weighs, guys, because I want to, if I want to travel with this, Let's see where that, and this is, well, let's unplug it. This weighs around 57 grams, and with the balance lead extension, 69 grams. So let me know what you think about this small, tiny little discharger. Does this interest you? I think this is pretty cool if you wanna put your battery into discharge, or if you're in the field and you wanna charge your cell phone or your tablet and you have some light poles around, then there you go. So let me know what you think about this discharge down below and I'll leave links to all these products down below. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.